Daddy, it's me, Bitch Pudding, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today, and this, for those who don't know, is Drag 101. In this video, you will learn how to apply a lace front wig. So before we apply the wig, we need to put our hair up. So we're gonna let her sleep, sit down. We're just gonna let her sit down and go, shh. Okay, baby girl. I'm just gonna take some water. Just slick it up. And I like to hold the top part with one hand. And I scoop up the back. Now I'm gonna wet the back of my hair. I'm gonna take the ponytail out, but as I take it out, I'm gonna spin it. So we're spinning it like this. You're making like a unicorn horn in the back of your head. Keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. And as you start to spin, when you get to the end, you're noticing that it's curling right here. Now we're gonna take that curl and it's gonna be the start of the bun. And you're gonna keep spinning at the end and wrap it in onto itself. And while it's nice and taut, you're gonna take a scrunchie of your choosing or a hair tie. So there's multiple different kinds of wigs. There's hard fronts, which means that there's no lace. This is just a hard front. It's just sewn right up to the edge and it's very harsh hairline, there are usually bangs in it to soften it up. So there's hard front wigs, which is like this, so there's no lace. And what I mean by lace is this. Now this lace is very trimmed back, but at least you can see the lace on it. This is where the hard front is on this, but there's lace that has hairs sewn into it so that it gives you a natural looking hairline. So it looks like the hair is literally growing out of your head. And that's what exactly this lace is doing. This lace is pretty clean, but I'm gonna show you how to clean your lace very quickly now. Because of the panini, I always keep this on hand. This is just some alcohol spray. This is just 90% alcohol. And a way to clean the lace before you apply it is just to spray on the lace and rub it in with the towel. I use it, I usually use a toothbrush. And this is just gonna break down the makeup and wipe it right off. Now you wanna be careful when you do this. Now let's talk about the different kind of brushes. For brushing through a wig, you're gonna want this kind of brush. There is no balls at the end of the bristles. It's stainless steel and it's gonna comb through the hair. Especially on synthetic wigs like this one, this will help smooth the fibers out and brush them evenly without getting them matted. This will detangle it really well and also add volume into the hair, especially in short styles like this one. When it's a longer wig like this, it's easy to brush from the bottom and get all that stuff out and it looks nice and healthy. This kind of brush right here is great for styles. This is gonna smooth everything out. So this is what I actually use to put my hair up and as you can see, everything's nice and smooth. So to put on a wig, because I'm sure you're curious how, turn it around so it's facing away from you and lay it down upside down. So that way, the crown is ready to go on the crown of your head. We're gonna aim for these combs to comb in here and here. This top comb is gonna come back right here, and this comb right here is gonna comb in the back of our head. What I like to do is to take these two thumbs, place it down on where the combs are so I can find them easily, and I'm gonna take it up to my head, flip the combs out like this, place it on the temple, and then I'm gonna flip it on one, two, three. Okay, flip the wig on my head. Now I have these two combs right here. I'm gonna comb it right here. I'm digging not into my skin, but like just where my skin's meeting my hair. And I slip the comb right there, okay? I'm gonna lift it down, grab some of my hairs, and pull up. Now I know what you're thinking. Bitch, you don't use a wig cap? No, I don't. Maybe I should, but I just don't. If you use a wig cap, great. I don't because I choose Chaos Diva. I like using the combs because if I'm whipping it back and forth, this is gonna make sure the wig stays on all night. All right, we're gonna take the back comb right here. Okay. And we're gonna pull it down and get it underneath at the base of the hairline. So that's secure as well. I use hairpins because I have very long hair. And how these work are different than bobby pins. You jam it in and then you Pierce through the lace, you can hear it pop when you get to the base of the wig like that. And you spin it around one, two, three. And when it starts to feel really taut, you just slide it in. But you're going through the wig and connecting it to the actual hair itself, your hair on your head. And then you're spinning it around to make a knot kind of. 
and then you just slide it in. This causes the wig to stay in place. Your wig will not move. I have the luxury of doing this because I have longer hair. For shorter hair, there's different ways to apply a wig, and if you wanna see that, I'm gonna have Madeline Hatter on the channel very soon, and she's gonna walk through the process on how she does a wig installation, and that just evolve. So I usually like five to six pins. I apply one here and here, I apply one here, and I apply two in the back. So how I apply them, I take the wig down, and right where I wanna glue it, like around here is where I'm gonna put a pin. So a little further back, up here, away from the lace, you're gonna push through. Okay, ear pop, then you twist, and then you slide it in. Okay, now we're gonna do the same to the other side. So to make sure the hair doesn't show, you just wanna slick it back, look let's show you so this area is a little messy. We're brushing it back, and we're coming down, and we're making sure that we're lining it up so the wig will cover the hairline. So the ones that I'm applying in the back, I'm making sure that the wig is taut and it's down. So the wig is like where my actual hairline might end. I'm taking the pin, I push it in just like we did the front, ear pop. Now I'm taking it down and I'm just making semi-circle, semi-circle, and I, once it's very taut, I push it and slide it. And now it's gonna hold right there. Do the same to the other side. So now the wig's in place, but baby, this wig, this lace is not glued down. That means if I go like this, you can see the hairline, you can see the hairline, and that's not what we want. Today, we're gluing our wigs down. Now, this is the best wig glue on the market. It is KD151 Extra Strength Ultra Matte Lace Adhesive. And you gotta shake it well before use. You do not want this to spill. If it does spill and get messy, you can use alcohol to remove it. So I like to start in the corners first. We're not gluing on our hairline. We're gluing near it. So I'm not gluing it here, I'm gluing it here. Okay, and I'm just brushing it on. If you put it in your hair, don't worry. It's just gonna get clumpy. You can use alcohol to remove it or some makeup remover to get rid of it. But you do run the risk of it pulling out your hair when you remove it. So the trick is to let this get really tacky and you're gonna take an old pair of tights. You're gonna have them on standby. Now I'm gonna take the lace and we'll pull it down and line it up where I applied the glue. Hold it with my hand and now I'm gonna take those tights and you're gonna lick it and you're gonna hold and press this down. And this is gonna activate this glue, and you're gonna pat it into the glue and let it dry. You're letting it dry. You're letting it dry. So let's just say I over glued here. This is gonna pick that up or blend it in and mash it together to make sure that it stays. All right, now we're gonna glue on this side. And while I glue this one on, I'm gonna tell you a little wig story. So for those that don't know, there's this iconic drag performer from San Francisco called Nikki Jizz. Nikki Jizz does this performance where she wears a lot of bus driver wigs. I'm talking about she starts with a long one and then she goes to short bus driver wigs. And this is a bus driver wig. It's a little kitty cat wig. And she does a reveal and it's another one underneath. A reveal, it's another one underneath. It's a reveal, it's another one underneath. A reveal, it's now just a bang piece. And a reveal from that, and then she goes bald. She has a bald cap on. And then she rips the bald cap off to reveal that there's another wig underneath the bald cap. And it's kind of low key iconic. Now, as I'm gluing this wig on and talking about making sure the bitch stays on, it's obviously coming from a place from trauma because I did have an instance where wigs fly off. It's gonna happen. If you're a drag artist, it's gonna happen. A wig is gonna fly off at some point and you think you're serving lovely, 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 and then all of a sudden the wig completely leaves your soul. It's happened to me a couple times. For instance, one of my first performances ever, Hershey Bar in Virginia Beach, and I did a cartwheel, and as I got out of the cartwheel, my wig flew off, I caught it before I hit the ground, and then I started twirling it. It made it look like I did it on purpose. <laughs> now, usually I wear big styled pieces with bangs, so I don't have to glue laces down, because lace, this takes time, and usually a bitch is running light. A basic thing to do before you apply a lace front wig is I try to brush it back from the lace itself, and I'll usually spray it with like some hairspray or get it wet so that way all the strands of this wig is not coming down while I'm applying it so I can cleanly see where the lace is. So that's a really helpful tip. 
Now I know what you're saying, wow, that looks great, but what's happening up here? Well, we're gonna glue down the top part and blend it in to make this top part seamless as well. If you have a long straight piece like this, regardless if it's synthetic or human, you are wanna brush it as soon as you're done using it. So when you take it off, just don't throw it in a corner. Take your time and brush through it with this brush. You're gonna want to brush through the wig and make sure it's not tangled. Then I like to take and twist it and make sure it's all together and I'll twist it and then store it in a bag so she's safe for keeping. I usually wear bigger hair to hide uh, my man's shoulders. I usually like to look a little bit more feminine, but today I'm feeling like super androgynous and that's just as lovely too. Invest in a human unit because when you go like this, with a synthetic wig, it looks crazy, but when a human wig, it looks majestic, looks gorgeous. And it's like, ooh, it's amazing. So this is a drag staple. This has got to be glued. This is one of the best, best, best hairsprays for slicking your hair back or also wig styling. Be careful using this really excessively on a styled wig because this will dry and it will flake. And dandruff is not usually the vibe we want. Now this hairspray is one I use every day on my regular hair, as well as for human wigs. This is Kendra's Design Spray, Light Hold Number no. 9. This is great for human wigs. Got to be is better for synthetic wigs. Well, this is it. That's how I install a human wig. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I would love to hear your curiosities. Uh. And let me know if you want to see any other wig hacks that I might have for you on Drag 101. I love wigs. Wigs are my favorite thing, favorite part about drag. And I hope you like this one today, but I can't wait to show you other ones in the future.